Hello again. So I just did a very reckless thing and basically um, <laughs> uploaded an old video of me to YouTube of uh, myself giving my high school graduation valedictorian speech um, 10 years ago. Can you believe that? It's been a long time. We actually just uh, just had our 10 year reunion and yes, I'm transgender. I went to an all boys school. So that was fun, but I just, I'm in a weird mood today and I kind of want to re-record my, my graduation speech as my correct self. And so for comparison's sake, I uploaded to YouTube my old version of it. And I mean, honestly, I think it's a pretty significant difference. Now, as I mentioned in the video, I just uploaded before that where I did my little computer rant. I have been at this for three years now, and I, I'm pretty pleased with the results. Granted, I look a bit ratty right now. Like, my hair is kind of, eh. I'm not dressed fancy or anything. I'm just wearing an athletic shirt. But anyway, here goes a redo of my graduation speech. Hope you enjoy. All right, June 5th, 2009. It is an honor and a privilege to be speaking to you today, and I cannot fully express how thankful I am to everybody who has helped me get to where I am today. To my mom, who has always been there for me, and my dad, who has sometimes been there for me. To my teachers, who have not only taught me a great deal, but have also helped shape me into the person I am today. To my friends and classmates, who have helped keep me sane and smiling throughout my years here at Landon, to the members of the Landon community who lovingly accepted me into their great bear family and have been supportive every step of the way, and to countless others who have touched my life in countless ways, I owe a great debt of gratitude. Coming to the United States at the age of nine was quite an ordeal, but I'm happy my mom brought me here because it's such a great place. The first few months of school were a bit awkward, however, because I didn't know any slang and I had no idea what some kids were calling me. Luckily, I had a friend who brought me up to speed and taught me every swear word in the book. After two years of public school, I found Landon, or rather, Landon found me. It was a great fit, though it took a little while to get used to the dress code. In the original video, I, I gestured to my coat and tie. Middle school was kind of rough, but given all of the changes taking place all at once, I think it went pretty well. I remember how many of us hated our trip to Echo Hill, not knowing how much worse Woodlands would be, how awkward a certain segment in Mr. Lewis's class was, talking about sex ed, and how a number of us tried Mr. Wu's patience on a daily basis in chorus and later choir and glee club. I remember how everyone started using the word defenestrate after having learned it in Mr. Harding's geography class. How some of us sent hundreds of blank emails to each other just to be annoying. And how boring Julius Caesar was. That part of the speech did not age well. I remember how bad we smelled after Woodlands, how noisy and obnoxious we were in Mr. Carter's class, especially during the art history segment, and how awesome Mr. Johnson's ancient history class was. Yes, middle school was certainly an interesting experience. Upper school was very different from middle school. No longer did we have to put up with assigned lunch seating, and we slowly became more and more independent. We had a huge influx of kids freshman year, which completely changed the social structure and made things a lot more interesting. Freshman year was a lot of fun. We had a blast at Camp Letts, tried to walk in a straight line while wearing beer goggles in Mr. Lawson's life skills class and dissected rats in Miss Osborne's class. Sophomore year was pretty good too. I remember how Mike Mutrin, may he rest in peace, made Mr. Fed's PowerPoint a lot more moist, how my old laptop made me walk right into a that's what she said joke and how we all learned just how awesome free periods are. Junior year was a lot harder we all got to see the inhumane side of humanities, and we learned to hate the SAT. But quite a few of us had some fun playing life. Uh, I need a side note for this. This is uh, 
It stands for Land and Intramural Football Experience, which is a defunct intramural sport, sadly. Anyway, back to the sentence I was at. But quite a few of us had some fun playing life and making fun of Justin Donaldson. Senior year was a mixed bag. First semester was really stressful as each of us scrambled to shore up his GPA. Of course, me and one other kid in our class came out as trans after the fact. But anyway, um, scrambled to shore up his GPA and to complete his college applications on time. But second semester was a vacation by comparison. One of the most important things I learned all year was that I had been using my electric razor incorrectly. Apparently, I wasn't supposed to use shaving cream. (laughs) I also learned that you don't mess with Raging Rapids, especially not when you're on a raft with five other people. All joking aside, Landon has been a great place to be, and I'm sad to say goodbye. I will never forget the life lessons Landon has taught me and the strength of the Bear Brotherhood. We have had some good times together, and I'm confident that we will have good times in the future. We will all soon be attending fine institutions that will continue to prepare us for anything life can throw at us. Most importantly, we will always be the Landon class of 2009, which means we will keep in touch with each other and will return to Landon as alumni more often than our busy schedules will permit. To all my 09 brothers and to everyone in the audience, I wish you the best in your future endeavors. So yeah, that, wow, that didn't age well. (laughs) Um, So as I said during the speech, as a side note, Mike Mutrin is um, deceased, unfortunately. And I mean, all of this stuff is like inside jokes, right? But also like it's dripping, this speech is dripping with bullshit because like, yes, Lannan was a good education, but like it, it's not as it's not all fun and roses as the speech depicts. But I mean, you know, when you're when you're at a graduation giving a speech to a room full of people, you're not gonna focus on the bad parts. So I mean, it was designed to be a little bit cringy just from the get go. But um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, I just I don't know why I felt like doing this. It, it, this is such a random impulse to want to redo the speech. But alas, here I am embarrassing myself on camera after (laughs) embarrassing myself 10 years ago trying to give that speech but I mean ultimately it's it's a part of my history and you know it's where I've been I went to school there for seven years of my life non-trivial I mean sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth eleventh twelfth that's yeah that's seven years so I guess I guess the point of all this is just like self-reflection because I've been, I've been a bit depressed recently. I've been having a hard time just doing life stuff and functioning and trying to figure out my spiritual path. And I think revisiting my past in small measure doses is potentially therapeutic. So I kind of just figured I would go for it. Was this a good idea? Probably not, but I'm doing it anyway. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this little revisit of my throwback. Until next time, toodles.